We are here today with Jill Jasuda, who is a participant in this year's Wednesday Morning Artist Gallery of Gifts, and she's here to talk to us about her work. Hi, yes, I'm Jill Jasuda, and I'm a photographer. I live here in Cambridge, and I've been a professional photographer for about five years now, and I'm honored to be part of the Gallery of Gifts this year, and uh, what I have here today are uh, photos of mine that are printed on wood, so they look a little bit different than your traditional photos printed on paper, and um, the ink is actually printed directly on the wood, and the ink is UV bonded to the wood, and so it's, it's on there. You can wipe it and without worry. And um, the wood is a certified sustainable wood, so we can feel good about that. And the, so the, the other thing that's nice about printing on wood is that you get to see a little bit of the, the grain pattern of the wood, so it gives it just a different look. And it does have some dimension, so it does stick out from the wall a little bit, and it has a groove here on the back for hanging. So that is what I have here today, and um, most of my work here today is from around the area here, from Dorchester County, most of it. Um, for example, we have the Chop Tank Heritage Skipjack Race, which um, it was something that I love to shoot because it's very timeless to see the skipjacks out there on the water. And I think having this printed on wood just adds to that timelessness. But there are um, so other Dorchester County photos here and there are Hooper's Island buoys the texture, um, also have Ocean City, and one from the pier in Ocean City, and, and that's a, a, the bikes and the buoys is from Smith Island. Um, of course, our beloved Clayton's here in, in Cambridge. So, um, I, my background is uh, as a writer and a graphic designer, so um, I've actually, for years before I became a photographer, was using photos to help share stories. Um, so I think I was kind of building up to this <laughs> period in time uh, with all of that. So I, I see things in a way where I'm trying to, to share the story um, and the graphic design. Um, adds to the, the way I compose photos and, and see colors and things. Um, so I was always interested in photography, but for a long time, I didn't know how to use the camera beyond the auto setting. So, uh, but then I did find a teacher that was able to uh, explain all the technical side of things of photography and using the camera in a way that I could actually understand <laughs> and so I started learning madly and making breakthroughs on how to do night photography, how to do light trails, how to use depth of field, um, how to shoot close-up macro photos, that kind of thing and the more I did the more I became a little obsessed um, so I uh, started getting up for sunrise, I started bringing my camera everywhere, um, I started seeing light differently, I started seeing really everything differently, uh, just walking down the street there would be patterns or textures, um, colors or compositions, things that would catch my eye that wouldn't have before I became a photographer. Um, and I, um, I shoot 
a lot, as I said, in, in Dorchester County, since I live here, I'm grateful to live close to Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge and the marshes of South Dorchester and Hooper's Island and um, you know, with all the water waterways we have here. Um, but I'm not strictly a landscape and nature photographer uh, in that it's not just say marsh and trees and water in my photos. Often, as you'll see here, um, I have some element of the, you might call it the built environment or, or something that has a human element for example, here, you know, Clayton's where it's it's workboats, it's buildings. Um, you know, it might be the lighthouse. Uh, it, it might be a dock. There's there's often something um, human made in in my photos, but um, also just nature too. I kind of like the the combination of them both. So um, I. Do shoot around Delmarva, this Delmarva region, and um, actually my husband Jim Duffy often is with me. We're exploring together because we have a venture called Secrets of the Eastern Shore. He is a writer and he uh, researcher, researches and digs up stories about the Delmarva region, the places and people that who used to be here in the past and I take photos and so together um, you know, he, he's written some books and I saw my photos and um, you know we collaborate and explore the, the region together so um, that's uh, we're pretty lucky to be able to to do that and share these stories and these scenes from around the area with people and you can see um, his work and more of my work on our website, secretsoftheeasternshore.com. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for being with us today.